Hello everyone and welcome to today's video. I'm Amaro, I'm a Boeing 737 pilot and a member of PMDG's tech team. In today's video I'm going to clear up a myth that I met again and again over the past 10 years in flight simulation. When people asked, so at some point after takeoff or in flight I noticed that I didn't turn my, on my fuel pumps, but still the engines are running. Is this a bug? And the answer is no, it's not. The fuel pumps you see on the overhead panel in the 737, as well as, by the way, in the Airbus A320, are the AC-driven fuel pumps located in the wing tanks. However, those are not the only fuel pumps installed on modern airliners. In the Boeing 737 you have second stage engine fuel pumps that are located just downstream of the um, fuel valves and if your AC pumps are turned off, like we do it now, it's master caution fuel that's associated, you'll see that the engine is simply going to keep running because the fuel is still suction fed into the second stage fuel pump and from there fed to the engine. So the short answer is you can turn all your AC fuel pumps off and the engine is still going to keep running. The only situation in which it might actually happen that you could encounter an engine failure because of your fuel pumps not running is when you have a total loss of AC power because that is also going to shut down the second stage pumps and at low level that's not too much of a problem but at high level air bubbles might start to, fa to form in the fuel system because of the pressure differences and because fuel is no longer fed to the engine under pressure and that on the other end side can then cause engine flame out or engine thrust deterioration. That is however the only situation in which you might actually encounter engine failure or loss of thrust because of fuel pumps not working in the Boeing 737 aircraft. High level with the loss with a total loss of AC power. Now let's quickly head over to the system schematic. I'm quickly going to show you from the AFCOM what this is actually looking like on the fuel system schematic. Alright, so let's have a quick look into the flight crew operations manual now. I've marked the relevant section for you in red already. You can see the engine fuel system has these um, first and second stage fuel pumps and you can read this up pause the video here if you like to read the whole section otherwise let's just go forward to the fuel system schematic you can see down here fuel is coming from the tanks going through the um, spa fuel shutoff valve into the first stage engine fuel pumps then through the fuel oil uh, coolers through the fuel filter and then into the second stage fuel pumps before eventually going into the hydromechanical unit which is going to meter how much fuel is actually going to be applied into the engine. It might also be worth having a second look into the uh, fuel system description itself because the AFCOM also covers the suction feed. I've marked that section in red for you again. This reads that when the main tank fuel pump pressure is low, each engine can draw fuel from its corresponding main tank through a suction feed line that bypasses the pumps. As the airplane climbs, dissolved air is released from the fuel in the tank due to the decrease in air pressure. This may collect in the suction feed line and restrict fuel flow. At high altitude, thrust deterioration or engine flame out may occur as a result of the fuel flow reduction. The dissolved air in the fuel tanks will eventually deplete after reaching cruise altitude. The depletion time is dependent upon the airplane altitude, fuel temperature and type of fuel. Once the dissolved air is depleted, the engine may be capable of suction feed operation at cruise power. So as you can see, Boeing has definitely taken into account the option of fuel pumps failing and not operating and they have taken measures in order for the engines not to fail when your fuel pumps are being turned off. I hope this eventually clears this myth up and that it's becoming clear to you now that just because you forget to turn the AC pump on your engines are still going to operate and this is not an actual bug in the airplane but a feature. 
If you found this video interesting, please let me know in the comments, subscribe, or if you really love my videos, I would appreciate a small donation through buy me a coffee. You can find the link in the video description below. Thank you very much, and I'm hoping to see you all again soon.